places like Berry and Victor Harbour where uh, the crowds have actually just come out in the in the hundreds. Yeah, well, about close to 250 at Victor just recently. Um, just come along, just enjoy it. We'll promise you the best show quality. It's just the best show quality, and it's cheap. We're only ten dollar tickets. So much fun. I enjoy myself. Come meet the guys. Come watch what we do. Absolutely, see these guys do what they do best, and uh, of course you can uh, jump on the website, the pwilive.net, or join them on the Facebook. Talk to the uh, PWI superstars direct. Oh, you see that just. Like Japanese drop kick right to the mouth. Josh Adams, Nick and Cliff's just taking it to him. He's trying to punish him. Absolutely, you can see the uh, Nick Eclipse, classic Eclipse there, distracting the referee and then going with the low blow. Yeah, well, exactly. Nick Eclipse, this was at the prime of his, his championship reign. I think he was about 100 days in at this point. Um, absolutely fantastic wrestling ability. Eclipse had and uh, eventually went on to hold it for 290 something days so uh, just a stepping stone absolutely and you can see still a great match up here out of uh, just Josh and uh, Nick Eclipse and oh devastating ooh, yeah right, sort of a slingshot drop kick off the uh, top right there yeah and just follows up with a huge drop kick of his own one side of the ring yeah. to the other hooks the leg Oh, no, Nick gets Eclipse, it. ring awareness, is able to grab that bottom right. Yeah, that's smart wrestling right there. Just, that's why he was champion for so long. He knew exactly where he was in a ring at all times. Absolutely, you can see, uh, oh, Josh has just discarded that uh, elbow pad and he's taken the, uh, looks like the elbows to the side of uh, Nick Eclipse's head there. Yeah, just trying to, unprotected elbows, just a lot more damage. Nick Eclipse just blocks the, soup, the scoop slam. Oh, with a slam of his own. Oh, huge. You see the force when she threw him down. Just powers out of that. Uh, Josh trying to get uh, Nick up for the slam, but uh, Nick manages to power out and slams him down himself. Yeah, only a two count. Um, just taking a quick time to say, yeah, this is a cyber slam. It's the fortnightly internet craze. Check us out every fortnight at www.pwilife.net. Of course, the Facebook group, and then we've also got our, our new... PWI Live YouTube channel, which is where all this stuff will be up uploaded. Absolutely, Michael. And then you've got the, the great, exciting news of coming up at our show. Uh, well, just our recent show with Barry. We've uh, had the Cyber Slam champion. So yeah. you'll be seeing all of that coming to uh, right here at Cyber Slam exclusively on the, uh, on the internet. Yeah, the PWI uh, Cyber Slam title should be interesting we had a very good turnout of very very good show oh just trying to comes in and trying to pick eclipse rolls into the ring trying to beat the 10 count possibly win by dq uh by count out but well, absolutely. Josh, when, uh, Josh made his way back in. When Nick Eclipse was a uh, champion, he uh, took any opportunity he could to hang on to that title. Not always the uh, the best way, but uh, he always uh, managed to hang on to that title. Yeah, doesn't have to be sportsmanlike. You know, if you Nick Eclipse, it was all about the gold, and he wore it well. It's a big back suplex though. One, two, no. Oh, but no, don't take anything away from Nick Eclipse, as you said, one of the premier strikers here at PWI, and uh, was certainly uh, took on all comers for that champ championship. Yeah, you know, held the belt for another good four or five months after this, got it beaten at Night of Destiny by a long-time rival, Hurricane Heath Fury, now known as the modern-day Samurai Heath Fury. Oh, you can see Josh Adams there managed to get the uh, feet to the ropes. Nick Eclipse just breaking it just before five. But uh, maybe it's a bit of an odd decision if he had held it at five. Yeah, he would have got DQ and lost. Would have retained his title. So. Well, he's, uh, he's got his hands on Josh at the moment. He thinks he's uh, in a good position to, uh, to uh, beat him. Don't cut the clotheslines, though. Oh, sidewalk slam. Two. Oh, Josh, just get the shoulder up. See uh, a little bit of frustration there out of Nick Eclipse. He... Uh, Thought he should have uh, just about put him away with that. Oh, Josh is firing off those big right hands. And he goes. Uh, is he going to hook him up for a suplex? Oh, oh. just drops him face first, like a suplex face buster. Drops him into the mat, goes for the cover. 
Just the two count, Nick Eclipse kicks out there. As you can see, uh, Josh Adams uh, gets back to his feet, kick, kick to the midsection. Yeah, some huge kicks right to the midsection right there. A big right hand to the side of the head. Oh, big kick and then a couple of chops. Great action brought to you here on CyberSlam this, uh, on this uh, second episode of uh, the Internet Craze. Why classic break from a judgment in uh, January 2010. Oh, huge running Yakuza kick right up there. I forgot how good this match actually was. Yeah, well, just a uh, huge just Josh back in control of this matchup, pulling Nick Eclipse. I just take a quick time that this guy's been wrestling for years. I'm not 100% sure on how long Adams has been wrestling for, but Nick's been wrestling for eight, nine years. Don't try this again. Enjoy our shows, come watch our shows, come buy the merchandise, buy the DVDs, hear me and uh, my, my lovely assistant Paul's voices, just don't try this at home. Absolutely, Michael, it's uh, something that you should uh, try at home, and uh, this great action here, these guys have been trained professionals for a long time, so uh, if you're interested in that stuff, log on to the website and find out more. Yeah, we've got a PWI boot camp happening quite recently, so if you have dreams of becoming a PWI wrestler, definitely check that out, but leave leave your little brothers alone, leave your... Oh, super oh, kick! Super kick from Josh Adams there, this could be it. One, two, no, no, only two, but as I was saying, don't try it at home, uh, buy the DVDs, buy the merchandise, buy the posters, and uh, maybe one day in the future, you, you might be wrestling in a PWY ring. Absolutely. Make sure you grab the uh, fortnightly show right here on the internet, Cyber Slam. Josh, Josh, just throwing him to the outside. Big Eclipse taking a little bit of a little bit of time just to calm down, take sucking a couple of deep breaths, and uh, just recover. Absolutely. Oh, and you can see Josh throws uh, Nick Eclipse's head into that ring apron there. Just comes around. Oh, just sits him on a chair and just throws some devastating chops. Oh, it looks like a quick uh, short kick he gave him there too. Yeah, definitely. As we were saying a bit earlier, Josh Josh just hits him, hits people hard. For a guy who's just, he's a smaller guy, but he hits so hard. And he counters the Irish whip right into the turnbuckle. Absolutely, and sends Nick Eclipse into that uh, steel ring post in the corner there. Now uh, this is uh, oh the ref's got his count on. Uh, yeah. Josh will have to be careful of that. Oh, he just goes he in and went breaks it. He broke up the count. That was clever right there. Maybe uh, doesn't think he's done enough damage. 